Welcome to the Motionize Video Paddling Academy. Boat stability is a key factor for a paddler's performance and enjoyment. There are some aspects to your paddling technique which can also affect boat stability. Here are a few things to watch out for in order to improve stability. The stroke length is divided into two main parts, the positive stroke length and negative stroke length. Always try to maximize positive stroke length and shorten the negative stroke length as much as possible. Remember, the exit of the blade should ideally start at the knee line. Some novice paddlers are pulling the paddle out of the water past the body or pulling their elbow past the waist, therefore causing the blade to exit too far behind. When the paddle exits the water past the knee line, it causes drag forces which oppose the forward direction of the boat, thus slowing you down. It also causes the nose of the boat to stoop downward and tilts the boat toward the paddle. A paddler should ideally exit the water when the blade is cutting through the water like a knife. Some paddlers tend to lift the blade out of the water while the blade is still full of water. Since you lift more water weight, it pulls the paddle center of mass toward the paddle and tilts the boat to one side. To paddle stably, a paddler should engage the core muscles. You should do this by softly bracing your muscles and not contracting them. The best way to do this is by keeping your belly button high rather than slouching in the boat and stare ahead at the horizon. In the beginning, this concept might be tiring for novice paddlers, but with time, your core muscle will adapt and strengthen. That's it. In the next lesson, we will learn about blade exit. Check it out.